Hello and welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. In the previous episode, we did a bit of cleanup, talked to two NPCs, got some rewards, and killed three fucking pursuers in the Lost Bastille. Surprised the hell out of me too, and it all came back, rushed back to me. But it was fine. No, two of them in the Lost Bastille, one of them in Things Betwixt. Got a cool lot of shit. Anyway... In the previous episode, I did say I was going to decide which way I want to go. I do want to go through the headman's corpse, corpse or whatever the fuck the way, to the Iron King up to a certain point to get some beginning items that I want to get and to start that little area. Uh, very, very important. Oh, hello there. This now, if you did not kill her, and only, and this, through the love of miracles, got a load of fucking shit. 2,000 souls. Go fuck yourself. Now, if you do not fucking kill her the other way, there is no way to cheese her outside of where she originally was. Go ahead. She's a so fucking liar. Shut up, bitch. I hate that fucking chick, dude. Uh, anyway, nobody likes her. Not even she likes herself. Fucking you, serpent bitch. Anyway, I'm um, gonna go this way. And there was a lot of reasons why I wanted to go this way. One of them is because we're about to meet the next important NPC in our journey. I forgot what his name was. Is it Ricardo? No, it's not fucking Ricardo. Imagine some fucking guy named Ricardo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's get the bonfire first before we, uh, before we talk to him. A good body, Richie, Richard Richardson. The dark. I see it. Mine, my Falcon. Totally lost that one. This land, this kingdom, all the land, save everything. I went, I went to it. I learned it too soon. Hexes, they were sorted. No matter. The... Uh, I rem if I remember correctly, you do have to buy quite a little bit of stuff from him. Oh, dude, yeah, no, we're gonna have to use these. Kind of hoping to save these for 5,000 piece, but uh, whatever. Uh, now, you can get his chime and his staff. Both are very, very good, especially his staff, considering his skills and dark abilities. His shield is actually very good as well. I like using his shield because it looks cool. Uh, Chaos Rapier, eh, sure. Uh, life Protection Ring, some Pine Resin. This, this is the one we need. Uh, might as well throw that. What does this do? Over a period of time. Uh, let's buy this. And let's buy this. And might as well buy the Dark Orb. Come again. The Dark. You are... What, drew me to the Dark? The Hexes are... Uh, I feel... Those who... This land. This kingdom. All that I left. Save a few years. I went, I went to... I, I learned... It drew me here. Soon I would. Hexes. They will. They will. Something. No matter the. What do we need? Hexes are. Uh, okay, we'll come back talk to him. I actually forget what you actually have to do to him to give him. He gives you the robes, a chime. I think you have to kill him. No, you can. You can get it normally. Fun. I'm not too worried about using a bunch of souls. Alright. You come over here. Alright, let's keep, let's keep going. Uh would be smart to equip poison uh healing for poison I knew it Sarah's just filled with these horrible people I swear nothing changes it's always about war There we go. 
Uh, we can't go down there, but I don't really Fire first, and then we'll go back. Hmm. Nice little one shot. Throw that down. Get that. Um, gonna get the items. Might as well. They're not anything too crazy, if I remember, actually. Uh, soldier stuff. Again, I believe there is a secret door. I knew there was a secret door. Dude, even. <laughs> even with the huge drop, I could still technically wield it and do damage. <laughs> Fan fucking tastic. Dude, I swear to God there was a hidden door. I'm being totally serious, dude. There's a hidden door somewhere. just use a lot of stamina though oh there it is I wonder what's behind this rock nothing what really really huh sure as hell it looks like a fucking hidden door maybe it's a switch I don't actually remember That'd be interesting. Um, the reason why you want to come up here is this. A one, one fat life gem for that. <laughs> but we are going to heal, so. Then we're going to do the rest of this area. Now, there is a key we can get an important area. Now there's two sections to this area. There's the top and then there's that bridge. We're gonna go to the bridge first. Knock it out. Now let's see. Furloin should forlorn. Uh, should spawn here in a second. Uh, but we are quite powered. Dude, you're gonna even a, even a stat even a not stat required build sword is beating the fuck out of these guys. Super easy kill. Super easy lemon squeezy. Gonna get poison, that's fine. Throw a life gem on. Gonna like the poison. Oh, dude, I saved myself on that one. Get the fuck out of here. So lucky that I didn't die. Getting used to the timing of Dark Souls. Little by little. Oh, 
I remember. Morning star. Yeah, let's summon the shade, why not? Bashful Ray. What a cool name. Very cool name, actually. Let's go up. Dude, really? Can't use it. Dude, come back here. What the fuck are you going? God damn it. Ah, it's a fucking lot. God damn it. I got fucking trolled. Uh, Dark Souls. I totally forgot that he just dropped some fucking life. I'm gonna use that life gem too. Out of spite. Fuck you. back muscles. Gosh, I'm gonna kill that guy. I'm gonna kill this guy. And while I'm waiting on that, is there an item over here? No, oh, there isn't. Alright, let's go. Hmm, if I remember correctly. He is gonna follow us. Take care of him. Swiftly, swiftly, swiftly. Can't open this yet, need the key. One bashful. One ray here for us. Next portion. There are a little bit of enemies. Not that I can't handle at this point, right? But nonetheless. It's nice. I believe that is the one we need to kill. It's because we get a special there it is. Oh, there it is. God, dude, gotta love fucking Ray, dude. I'll eat that. Num, 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 motherfucker. Uh, I do wanna make my way back or something. This is a boss, dude. We'll be fighting this. In this episode, run. In this episode. Let's see. Gotta be 
careful. Oh shit, that's right. Chunk, S is sharp. There we go. Eh, might as well use this butterfly. What is this? Wooden arrow? And I know there's an item over here. Combustion Titan Shark. Uh, I forgot what that item is. Not gonna pick it up right now. That way. Dude. Run, bro. Oh my gosh. There's another fucking... Yes, it's another piece of shit gem. My character wasn't running. I was pressing the damn B button. Oh my god. I'm sorry about that little clunk sound, by the way. Who are you? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. You've set me free. The cheeky prick. I am Creighton of Mira. Of Mira? I traveled. I've heard this land was full of danger. I thought it was... I joined forces with a man on the way. But he was no more than a backstabbing knave. He took the first chance he had to try and off me. I decided to set a trap for him here. But then I got trapped myself. I can't believe that I was so dense. You be careful of him. Pate. He wears this rather unusual ring. I've seen his type before. He kills in... I'm sure I won't be his last victim. The man, he's a slick talker. Pate. And don't... I'll find the common... This bum, bro. Alright. Probably shouldn't have done that. That's fine. Doing the next area. Well, could go with the chariot first. Or skeleton bros, really. Ah, let's go kill the chariot first. Why not? Fuck it. We did this area, we got all the items that we need, so. Except for like two items. So nothing too crazy, but let's go. Let's go get Cherry, bro. Cause Gus is waiting for us. So let's go and meet our buddy. Also, there's probably a good chance to just get rid of the chariot now. I don't want that. Probably just some torch ammunition. Big 
fat great sword just coming down on you. I got two Tunk Knight Chunks. Tight Knight Chunks. I should be eligible for another upgrade. Double hits on these guys. You stun them, you instantly kill them because you will always follow it up second. Basically one shot in everything in this game right now. For the most part. Alright. Let's do this right. And not fucking get obliterated. One at a time. Him in there. Just walk in one shot. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. Cracked right arm. Nah, I think these guys. No. One, always one at a time. That's nice that they give you that. I'm gonna throw a life gem. Two of them. Give me the heal that I need. And that's all of them. Hopefully you don't have to kill them again. Though so there is that item, so... Whatever way you choose to do stuff. Now the big boy himself. This should be a lot of fun. He didn't drop an item. Okay. So this is the cheeky part. Should we kill the boss then get this item? Because then we get the bonfire? Yes. So. A couple of ways to do this boss. Put on a shield. Which one? Sound like shield works fine. Just gotta switch the gauntlets. Let's see why.
Oh, dude, I'm concentrating so hard. God, I hate fighting this guy. Straight. Ooh, you do fucking execute the cherry, blah blah blah. Shut up. He's a difficult boss. Or at least he can be. I apparently made it more difficult than it should have been, but it is what it is. But yeah, it's a simple boss, nothing too crazy. He can be a bit of a fucking asshole to beat though. What is it? Oh. What is it? Oh. You trot long home. This place won't be any fun. Not for you. And then this is the PvP arena, so that's great. Um Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna end this video here once I go back and get the last piece that I want and collect all these items. Alright, let's go about trotting along. This place is no place for us. A lot of these items are just bait items to get you to get hit by the damn chariot, but some of them do serve a purpose. If not, all of them are fading items. Alright, let's see if I can get this in one go. Fire seed. Want that. Need that. Dipping out. Going back to Majula. <laughs> um, we have enough for another upgrade. So, I am going to go do that. And in the next episode, we are going to finish up this area, which is killing the skeleton boys. Hmm. Should I upgrade first or should I use items? Now, let's upgrade first. I think we should do. I... Mm, let's see. There. Now we need three. I'll be around. All right. Take this damn helmet off. Throw it back on. Might as well throw a robe on. Why not? Eh, that looks weird. Oh, dude, I love that gear. Can I wear literally anything? Oh, I'm still too heavy. What about his boots? God, I love that fucking setup. Oh, dude, that works. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Uh, gonna use all our items and level up. That's literally what's gonna be the end of the video. I'm not gonna do anything more. Hmm. I know I'm gonna kill the skull, bros. After that, I'm probably going to keep going and kill Jabba. Covenant Steven, or Grossa Demon, whatever his fucking name is. Come on, get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is that a shard? Here, to see. However. Thank you. Level up. And we're gonna put points into where? One point there. Let's start throwing points. Let's start pulling two points there, two points there, two points there. That works. All right, guys, that's a good stopping point, at least for right now. So, as always. I appreciate you guys watching to the end of the video, and I will catch you all in the... Peace out.